Hi everyone and welcome back to my Forex channel. So in this video, I will show you an easy and effective way how you can maximize your profit using the MACD indicator. So before I will jump into today's session, I would just like to show you my profit so far using the MACD strategy and I am in profit over $1,000 so far. The GBPUSD is making me much, much more than I expected. So far, I'm super, super happy me in $1,000. So, so if you like to learn it, just keep on watching. The MACD is one of the simplest and most effective momentum indicators available and the MACD has place in my heart as one of my favorite trading tools so far so I decided that I will show this easy strategy with you all. The key principle for this strategy is to have your confirmation from the MACD indicator showing a crossover meaning the blue line so if you will take a look over here in this rectangle tool that I drawn blue line needs to cross an orange one so what it means is just we have a green light on we can enter a trade. When I'm using this strategy in the forex trading, I would like to focus on one hour and 30 minute time frame. But of course, this is my personal reference. So you don't have to worry too much as this strategy can be used on various time frames and on different currency pairs. So to start off strategy, we need a MACD indicator. Of course, mine one is already added on. But for you, if you just go on indicators and simply just type in MACD, and it will be the first one and for this strategy we will not adjust any settings so just leave it as it is and just let's move to the next step just one more thing guys don't forget that this strategy is as follows but when you are following any type of strategy you still want to apply some of the core fundamentals such you know understanding the trend lines like price action market structure and even support and resistance so in this particular example we want to have some sort of trend happening so as you can see we have a gbp NZD on a 30 minute time frame and is clearly in a bullish trend at the moment. The MACD is also telling us that, that the top area is overbought. So as you can see, those blue and orange lines is above the bars. It means the area is overbought. On the other hand, if that would be oversold, we would have the blue and orange lines below the bars. So as I said, the only confirmation we need is for the blue line to cross an orange one because it will show that the bear pressure is coming in and more than likely it will push the market towards the downside so let's just play a replay tool to see what's actually going on so far so we're just waiting for the break towards the downside through our trend line zone and it is fluctuating and of course we have a break through our trend line towards the downside so if you will take a look over here you can see the price confirmation as well the bearish engulfing candle is also a very important indication in this strategy it just shows that the bears are definitely in the market this is the crossover this is where the blue line crossed over the orange one so now the orange one is above of the blue one and now as you can see instead of the green bars we have the red ones so you're just simply showing the bearish pressure so where do you enter the trade of course you can enter the trade with the break when you have a bearish engulfing candle closed you know when the bigger red one swallows the smaller blue one like a pac-man but i would like to have a one more confirmation you know we have a push we have an exhaustion so what i would like to have is just to wait for a push and exhaustion so as you can see we have the break through our trend line of course with a bearish engulfing candle and this is what i meant like we have the push and we have an exhaustion and again and we have the third confirmation of a bearish engulfing candle so this is where we'll enter the trade so let's just take a look how many pips we could potentially make using this MACD strategy in regards to your stop loss it should be in a round of the previous area of resistance and your take profit levels should be as well somewhere in a round of the area of a support so let's just see how much we would be profiting if we enter on this lovely bearish engulfing candle. So let's just play a replay tool to see what's gonna happen. So as you can see, the market just continues to go in down and down because of the seller pressure. And as you can see, we definitely reached our goal of 149 pips, which I am super, super happy. So as you can see, by using the MACD indicator for this strategy, and if you're applying all the correct steps and you being 
patient, you can definitely reach a high profits in the forex trading. So here is another example of a buy trade. We have GBP and CD on a 30 minute time frame. So in this case, we have a bearish trend so far indicating that the sellers are dominating the market. We also see that there is a lower lows formed inside of this descending triangle formation. So it clearly indicates a squeeze pattern and what we are waiting for as well. We're waiting for a break. So let's just play a replay too. And we are waiting for that break through our downtrend. So as you can see, it retested the trend line, but it also retested our support zone. So let's just play and see what's gonna happen. And as you can see, the squeeze pattern had no space to go. So the bar stepped into the market. Indicators also showing a green bars instead of a red ones. And we have this bullish engulfing candle as well. So as you can see, it broke our downtrend with a bull of pressure. We have this kind of push and exhaustion method over here. So I will probably enter on this bullish engulfing candle over here because push exhaustion bearish engulfing candle we have a confirmation to enter a trade so for this buy trade of course i will be using the same technique for the take profit and stop loss levels my take profit level it would be in a round of the zone of a resistance and the stop loss levels it should be in a round of the zone of my support so let's just play a replay tool and see what's actually going on and as you can see the market just continues to go up and up and <laughs> I mean, it, this is crazy. We have a 202 pips in a profit. So as you can see, using the MACD indicator in your trading can definitely bring you huge profits. I mean, 202 pips. I'm not even mad about it. I'm super, super happy. And my profits that I showed you in the beginning of the video is just shows how strong it is if you do apply all the fundamentals and important steps to enter a trade. So that was it for today's session. I hope you enjoyed it and you found this helpful to you. If you did, smash the like button and comment down below. And once again, guys, thank you for watching me and I will talk to you later. Bye.